everybody, it's me, Tired Lizzie. Tired. Uh, today I am going to make a pumpkin mask in the kitchen for my face. Yay! And I am going to then make a pumpkin beverage because that is the theme. It is pumpkin season. Yes, I've been drinking my pumpkin spice. They're not lattes, they're just coffees, but it is the season. And I missed last week, so I'm back at it today with my hand movements. I found this recipe for this pumpkin face mask from a blogger. Primarily Inspired is her name. And uh, one of her friends, guest blogger, um, put it up. Her name is Jenny Raincloud. I had to write that down because that is such an awesome name, but I didn't want to mess it up. So I'm going to take this recipe and I'm going to make it and then later I'm going to put it on my face. It says it shouldn't dye my face orange, but my hands are orange from touching a pumpkin, so I'm not so convinced. It also said to stay away from spices, like adding cinnamon or anything else, because spices will burn your skin, or can. And I don't need an allergic reaction. I just have too much shit happening in my life right now. I'm not going to do that. I'm hoping this will be okay. So here are the ingredients. Organic pumpkin puree, not pie, because we eat pie, just the puree. Trader Joe's, you'll see a theme. Okay, and some organic, no, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. Actually, it is organic too. <laughs> At Trader Joe's. And then some honey, not from Trader Joe's, from my neighbor slash coworker. They have bees. They make honey. Yes. So, I am just going to combine these three, but I left one of the pieces, so I'm going to vanish and return. Hello. I am going to put in one tablespoon of pumpkin puree. Now, you can freeze this. This chick on her site, and I will link that in the blog, used the whole can and put it in ice cube trays and then froze it. And she could just take one out when she needed one cube was a little bit more than what she needed for her face, she, so she made a second item, and I will show you that as well. Okay, so a tablespoon of the puree, a teaspoon of the vinegar. Now, you can also use vitamin E. I don't have vitamin E, just lingering, lingering around my house, um, but I do sometimes have oily skin, see? Oh, you can see it in the lights. I do also get acne, so vinegar is supposed to be better for those. We'll see, or my face will combust, and then don't do this. If it doesn't combust. Honey is an option, I'm just gonna add it. I mean, hmm. we'll see what happens. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to mix these three friends together. A teaspoon of honey. A teaspoon of vinegar, make sure I clean that, and a tablespoon of pumpkin is enough for one face mask. I ooh. Okay, don't eat that. It smells like pumpkin and honey or like being in a haystack, a wet haystack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that smell. Mm. Okay, so that is recipe number one. Now she has a second recipe <laughs> and with her leftover. I don't have that much leftover, right? Because I am making one, one for the face. But let's say I did have leftover. What you're gonna do is take a teaspoon without any rocks sugar. This came from Target and not from Trader Joe's. Thank you very much. Just saying. Then you stir it in. Still don't eat it. Still looks the same. Mm. Still smells the same, but now it's an exfoliant. So I will make the mask for first and I will make the exfoliant for the seconds. So I will put on the mask. I will wash it off with cool water after 15 to 20 minutes, and then I will exfoliate. I might put it on my skin. It's just a little sugar 
exfoliant. Two recipes for one.